Hello, my darling daughters and anyone else listening. I've decided for today's video that I will take stock of my cross stitch materials since I want to get back into cross stitch. I haven't done cross stitch in 20 years, but one of my online friends started cross stitching again and it made me really start wanting to do it again. Um, and that same friend sent me some cloth to get started, which was sweet of her. These first top two I already had in my stash, but the rest of it is stuff that she sent me. So at least I have some cloth to get started. Okay, it's all Aida, which is my cloth of choice, or at least it was when I was cross-stitching back in the day. Who knows what I like to use now. Um, she also sent me some DMC that she'd already bobbined up, up, and a hoop, which was nice of her. Okay, now on to the stuff that I already had. Here is my collection of DMC that has been, it's moved three houses. I've had it for about 20 years, literally. That was the last time I cross-stitched anything. So for all I know, the DMC company has changed their color numbers. So these colors may not even match any patterns that are currently out, but we'll see. I also have some DMC pearled cotton because I had a brief infatuation with plastic canvas projects. So I bought this particular variety of cotton for this. I don't even have the original pattern anymore, but it was supposed to be a Bible cover for your grandmother. But of course, I never finished it, and I probably won't ever finish it now, but it's still sitting here. Um, the only other plastic canvas, see, project says plastic canvas. Technically, it's embroidery, but back in the day, we just called it plastic canvas because that's all it ever said on the patterns was plastic canvas. <laughs> um, these are poinsettia coasters, which... I think I bought these, bought this pattern in this kit simply because I was looking for the least ugly, to be honest. There were a lot of patterns out there that were just not to my taste when this craft was in fashion. And so I was trying to find something that I just wouldn't mind looking at. But to be honest, we don't even use coasters. And I don't break out special stuff for Christmas. So I don't know what I thought I was going to do with this, maybe give it to somebody. But all I ever managed to finish, and this isn't even finished, is the first coaster. That, I remember this being probably the last project I worked on before I decided I really wasn't into plastic canvas anymore. And speaking of Christmas, I have two other unopened kits here for little ornaments. This is one that I already had. You can see it was a dollar ninety nine counted cross stitch. And here is one that my friend sent. Let me see if I can show the picture. There we go. This came in the box that my friend sent with the cloth and everything. Okay. And here is the last I don't know if you can really see, but is the last um, stamped cross stitch kit I ever worked on. I really only worked on two. My first one was a baby blanket and it was supposed to be a gift. I got halfway through and I spilled Kool-Aid all over the white blanket. And it was like, okay, no use here. And I held on to it for a while, but I ended up throwing it away. And this is another project where I liked the pattern and I wanted to make it, but I have no use for it because this is a, a napkin. You can see the edge. I don't know if you can see, but the edge is already finished. It's a napkin that you would lay over like a bread basket. And you can see the Hebrew writing on it and the candles and everything. So it was meant to be for like a Sabbath meal or a Passover meal to lay over the top. I don't know what I thought I was gonna do with it, 
but I just, for some reason at the time, I liked it. And I think Hirschner's had it on sale. As you can see, this is how Hirschner's sent their floss out with their kits back then. Already nice on a tube there. So I may actually finish this because I still have the pattern. So I know what, I mean, it's stamped, so you don't really need a pattern, but I still have the the slip of paper that tells me what colors go where. So I might finish it just to satisfy that urge to cross stitch, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But other than that, that's everything that I have cross stitch. I used to have some patterns for some baby books, I mean baby bibs and things, but really I don't have anything else. That's it. So I guess that means if I want to cross stitch, besides finishing off this pattern here, I guess I need to go buy a kit. So I was trying to get started and satisfy my itch to cross stitch without spending money, but I think I'm gonna have to go buy a kit. Now my friend, here's the box, my friend did send a few patterns and I could stitch this, this stack has a few patterns in it. I'm not going to show you all the way because some of the words on them are a little bit vulgar and they're not, you know, I think those kind of things are funny when I see other people stitch them, but I can't see where I'd hang them in the house, so I don't know where I'd stitch you know, I don't know why I'd stitch them if I can't hang them in the house, so I, because your father would never, would never approve of that, so I guess I need to find some things that I can hang in the house. I like some of the geeky cross stitch that I have seen, so maybe I will buy one of those patterns and try to make something like maybe Doctor Who or something like that to go on the walls, but that's it. Until tomorrow. Bye.